peek behind the microphone. Let's celebrate the art of stand-up comedy. Well, the stand-up experience is, uh, you have to divide it into several categories. For people other than your family, for strangers at a time and place of someone else's choosing, I went down to the um, Café Wa, W-H-A, exclamation point, and uh, I got up and I did a couple of things that I had done for my college buddies and stuff like that, and people laughed. I mean, I stretched it out a little bit, but it was totally terrifying. I'm with a friend of mine. She's the most miserable human being in the world now that she's healthy and on a diet. I asked her, I said, man, I'm good with something sweet. How about a cookie? And so she goes, well, I don't need a cookie. Need. Like, anybody needs a cookie. <laughs> Like you would get your lab result back. Well, apparently, Miss Bex, what you need, believe it or not, is a cookie. I've never seen this before in the history of medicine. Stand-up comedy, it's not, it's an art form. Here's the, the key is part of the day you look for the remote. That's, that's a big thing you eat. In the middle of the night, I just graze on this. I try to write, uh, I watch a movie, I fall asleep, and it's basically a, a stupor of hilarity. And then I get up and I try and, you know, meet a woman who I could never get in real life if I hadn't had such a good act. And that's the key to it. The key, and, and you have to be funny. Let me explain stand-up comedy to you. What it is is you say something funny and then you wait and then you say something funny again. And you try and say something really funny at the beginning. You can have like a little bit of a lull, give them a chance to breathe. And at the end, you say something really, really funny. You do that about 30 or 40 times and you make a lot of money. <laughs> this is the most depressing thing to be going bold and having dandruff. <laughs> the worst of both worlds. The reason that stand-up comedy does in fact work is because there is something within all of us when it makes us laugh that we might have thought about ourselves that hits a nerve, but we've never said it. When I was younger, I would use comedy to stop her from hitting me. I used to look like Jerry Lewis when I was a kid. I had a crew cut and and I would, uh, when my mother was, would go to hit me, I'd do a Jerry Lewis bit, and sometimes she'd laugh and not hit me. So I always said my kitchen at home was the toughest room I ever worked, because audiences don't spank you. My cousin Louie, one of those guys, he has no concept what he looks like. We walk into a restaurant, he goes, hey, Dom, I think that waitress noticed me. Gee, Louie, what do you think she noticed? The fact that your belly came in four steps ahead of you? You know, there's no real avenue to learn like as a stand-up comedian when you're a kid you're a wise guy and you're a class clown and all this it's all negative but then it turns out when well, i'm making more money than my math teacher huh he thought he was so smart i don't need the pythagorean theorem anymore see because i'm on tv big guy <laughs> sorry i always wanted to say that i feel better now <laughs> people say it's the hardest thing in the world to make people laugh because when you're on stage if the audience isn't with you then it's your job to get them I would never stop doing stand-up, as long as I can do it, because I love the idea of thinking of something funny in the afternoon and saying it on stage that night. It's such a freedom. Oh, it's that time of year. Every year they say the same thing. You know, this is the worst year ever. But there's nothing more boring than talking to somebody about their allergies. You know? You ever at a party and somebody is like, it's like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm allergic to mites. Oh, I don't like mites myself. But I don't you know, I dust mites and I'm allergic to, you know, I think you're allergic to anything interesting. I think anything interesting, you're allergic to that. I'm gonna go over here and stare at that wall. Excuse me a second. It's easy to make your friends laugh staying on a street corner, hanging out, or in school, it's easy, or in a job, because they know you and they wanna laugh and all that. But strangers? <laughs> I love to watch the cat, I was like, look at the wall. He stares at tell my girlfriend, look at the cat, he's staring at the wall. Is he an idiot or what? She goes, maybe he sees angels. I said, maybe his brain is the size of a walnut. Maybe he sees stuff on the wall that he finds interesting because he's so stupid. And then he'll look up like he just thought of something and he'll sprint across the room like, hey, I gotta go over there and stare at another wall. I am so behind in my wall staring today. You're not allergic to dust mites, are you? They're doing a documentary. It might have been National Geographic. They were on some remote island, never had seen civilized men. There was a small tribe of, of people there, like 20 people. And they were filming it. And one of the tribesmen 
the, the director had a pipe, and the Streisman took a twig, and he bent it, and he was doing an impression of, of the director. Then he, he climbed up on a tree, and he was doing this. You know, they were doing a boom shot, and he was up on a tree doing that, and the tribe was laughing, and they realized that the tribe had a class comedian. And from this, they, they believed that there were comedians in every group of people from the beginning of time. There was the comedian. Nothing better I'd rather do than sit around and have some laughs, no matter where they come from. It's always, you always feel good when you're laughing. Hey, Louie, how come you don't come around? Everybody was around over here. That was a little Petey, Big Petey, regular Petey, Joey Bag of Donuts was here. Jimmy the Woman's, Nicky Potato Salad, Squid Lid, Muscles Marinara, Irregular Petey, Carmel Lemon Cola, with the Petey, Nicky Scongeal, and the Five Stinky Bacala Brothers. How ah, come we don't come around? Not for nothing. Comedy isn't what they do, I think it's what they are. There's a, a tremendous sense of accomplishment. It's, you take all the risks, but you get all the glory. Every audience has a different personality, and that's what makes stand-up comedy a unique art form. You can't knock me down, Ray. I feel very tired from the talking. Some lady comes up to me last night, she goes, you look tired. Well, man, I'm tired, I talked to you an hour. No, I don't have any rituals, I just like, uh, you know, Trying to be funny. Pretty heavy, huh?